Hello everybody, welcome back to Spellitons. I'm Zinker, he's Derek, and this is Maze. So, uh, I, I honestly, I, this, I, I can't believe I forgot about this. There is something at the beginning, Derek, something we completely forgot. Hmm? Yeah. Right, it, 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 it's so hmm. obvious in hindsight that I can't believe I didn't realize what it was. Um, we got. We just gotta find a way back. We will, though. Boy, I gotta hand it to you, Zinker. Yeah, I know. I sure know how to look at a guide. It's the one Steve yeah, you guy sure right do. now. I wish I got his name so I could list it. Remember this door? Uh -oh. Blunk. There's his hand. Blunk. There's a slot for the key. Blunk. There's a circular slot. We <laughs> open the door. I thought that said slot for a key. Okay. Uh -oh. I hear stuff. Hey. Uh oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was he what the fuck is going on? on the oh, we should just yes, yes, help with that. With that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. <laughs> Where's Bill? <laughs> You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. <laughs> Let's hope you're better than the last one. Uh, um. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. I guess I'll come on in here. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Uh, will do. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, real quick. Oh. Is there no subtitles? Ah, this one doesn't Ooh. have subtitles. Go figure. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, what is this? That was a bit odd. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I reset the elevator after a few more moments of data. We uh, we overbought a food palace and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moan, cordially, Ted. Is this part of a puzzle? Oh, all I have is my English muffin. I can't. Ooh. I feel you like you had a moment. Yeah, there you go. You ate a stale pear, pear pellet. Pellet. Okay, well, guess I'm just gonna sit here and eat some pellet. We live here now. Button. The elevator begins to move. Hello? Hi. <laughs> um, my god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. A Hiya, fortune? Ted! Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. Think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us, Bob. Bob, you are so very stupid. What about the term classified, don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron, cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot, cordially, Ted. Ted isn't the nicest, man. Bill and Ted. You say cordially. Bob and Ted. Is Bob and Ted something? Bob and Ted's fat. What is that? Bob and Ted's fa fa fantastic adventure? 
Or is it Bill and Ted? It's not Bob. It's Bill and Ted. Okay, that's what I thought. It feels what I said at first, but I realized his name is Bob. This is the weirdest cord maze I've ever been in my entire life. You know, it's yeah. weird. We have to go back up top, right? Because we didn't even get to the windmill. I so. should think so. Yeah, I think we're going back to the top at some point. God. It's a puzzle game, so. One knows. I see a bunch of boxes down this way, which makes me want to go. Oh my god, there's so many places to go. Well, we're not going there yet. Um. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for facility. I got thousands of bulk at a fraction of the price. If I use the savings for some great stuff. Bob, you idiot. You got a deal on them because they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Cordially, Ted. Cheap jumpsuit. Made out of material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit would not be worn by anyone. Oh. Should like not corn be. guys could wear it. Uh, uh oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, I picked up a coat rack. Good for hanging coats, unless it is placed upside down, in which case it is not effective at all. Hmm. Reserve power mode active. So I gotta get out of that. Appears to be poured on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm, and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document. A running thing on many reports involving the coin. <laughs> These coin were not great for military for the military. Gotcha. Nope, not not good corn soldiers. Not good coin soldiers. This game's about two hours. So we might might be able to I mean we're not cracking well, I I've been too slow, but you know. Might be able to crack it out in like six, mm. seven episodes if we really try. I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. Oh. Item can be placed here. A teddy bear. Back. What the fuck? Okay. Um, a tour guidebook. Appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted. But 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats and mostly P3... The refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Hmm. Bob, you joke, put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hit it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. Cordially, Ted. Who are these guys? Gripatron. That's I. Like every model, this Gripatron contains the innate ability to be unable to grasp anything of value with its claws. Hmm. What is this? Old computer. As the name suggests, this computer is old. You get a sense that it could use an upgrade, and that you spend several moments trying to figure out what the word upgrade means. Am I a coin myself? Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here. Glutton. Cordially, Ted. I feel like that's the plot twist. I am a coin myself. Maybe we are corn. Wait, what? Corn with giant titties. This definitely goes there. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. That it's we are watching around from my the AI of... experiments, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Power strip. Turned on. Ah, okay. Now what? Gripatron. Coat rack. Oh, I was thinking maybe you need a hand. No, I used the hand, remember? That's how I got in here. And maybe the well, you only use the left hand. What about the? There's gotta be a right hand somewhere. It was not there. Maybe it's somewhere. You're right. What is this? Hiya, Ted. The latest brochure came back for the press. Take a look. Think it'll really boost the tour. Be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first you're an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Cordially, Ted. Third, if you're going to make the stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads. Remember. As in the same title, jerk. Cordially, Ted. Ted's not very nice. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine in the front, Bob. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures? Moron. Cordially, Ted. 
They seemed like they had a Ted's good work. kind of dealing with a uh, kind of an idiot. Derek, I feel like this is they you. They have good ship dynamic, I'm sure. <laughs> they have good ship dynamic. I ship Bob Ted. Derek, I feel like uh, you're Ted. Tob. I, I feel like you're definitely Ted here, but I also feel like you're also Bob. <laughs> yeah, be next me. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Uh, oh. The corner just watching me up there. Hey, guys. I feel like they're doing important corner They're work. observing me. A cheeseburger wrapper. Originating from a local fast food restaurant. The nutritional information on the wrapper proudly claims now 100% salmonella free. There are, no, there are no exaggeration. Thousands of these wrappers littering the facility. But a very fetching must insane this particular one sparked you to pick it up. What a story, man. Um, okay. Wait, oh, more of these sticky notes. Ah, uh, hey, Ted. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. It had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up. Would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? Cordially, Ted. And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I got a lot of questions about what's going on here. Is there anything in here of particular use? Follow the rappers. Follow the rappers. Ba -dum -ba -bum 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 -bum. The corn were up here. Ah, but I can't reach them. God, this is gross, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Ooh, what looks, is that? Dude, it looks like your old car. Military backpack. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, it sure does. Thanks. Thanks for the insult, by the way. <laughs> Military backpack. It can carry lots of things, none of which come to your mind at the particular moment. I gotta really clean out my current car. It's not filled with trash, but it is filled with clothes. Because I just had so many work clothes in there. Hmm. Also, it has keyblades in there and my Halloween costume. I don't... Small screwdriver. Bob's favorite screwdriver. Use the pry open Bob's secret storage spot. It's completely useless for removing screws, but makes a nice ping noise when tapped against a metal railing. Okay. Ah, yes. Ariel's my favorite Keyblade user. I I also have my Fine organization code in there. But yes, I do have... I have the mermaid uh, leggings in there as well. Or they're sweatpants, actually. Sorry. Ah, oh, that made me a little sad, actually. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week. Moron. Cordially, Ted. I... That seems like a risky oh, play, sure, Ted. Team can get to us, but Ted, that that seems like an extremely risky play, dude. Extremely risky. I don't think you want that, but I'm guessing that's where I need to go to get. Uh... I probably just peed on the floor. Oh, god, this is actually gross to walk. Well, I thought that. I think that backpack went in like you know, that that research lab. Yeah, it did. We also need a teddy bear and one other thing. There's four things we need. Mm. So, but I want to get plenty to more avenues to explore. Oh, does it make a sound? Hmm. Interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since the tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct. Well done. <laughs> well, good job, guys. Hey. No, they're just they're just standing there. They're they don't seem to pay me any mind. All right. They're just, they're just hanging out. Yeah, they're, they're corn. Oh. They just. Oh, I can walk through them. They don't seem to care that much. Hold on. Yeah, I can walk right on this. All right. This seems to be the way to go. I'm one of them now. Okay. Hey, what's this? Corn, right? Shift schedules. Schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable, the shifts of the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. 
Amazing. Amazing. Um, okay. I'm gonna guess this was Ted's are bathroom, those... and this was Bob's. Are those two toilets facing each other? Sketcher 3000. A major improvement over the Sketcher 2000. As it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine drawing in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face, owing to your fascination with foreheads. Sure. Uh, of course they're facing each other, Derek. How else would you do work? Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key, but good God, how many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slob? Cordially, Ted. Well, I feel attacked right now. The invoice was incredibly a extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps, only up to two uh, extravagant toys of a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it in on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on the financial capability. I'm not paying for this. Gotcha. I don't know. This seems worth it to me. Fancy. Looks nice. Yeah, I. I when you need a shit, you never go. It's like they, he walked all the way there. He Socially left the distanced. path. He left the path of his disgusting shit. Why? That really didn't work out for Ted, huh? So do you think like, do you think that path just is like, like from like habit? Like he just like keeps like taking that route every day, eh? and like I just cumulatively that built up, or do you think this is all from like one trip? I feel like he marked his path so he wouldn't forget where he had to go. As for why Ted didn't clean it up, I, I, you don't, I don't got, Ted seems like a slob too if he won't clean it up. I mean, I know it's not his mess, but like it goes into his office and he blocked a, he blocked off someone's path to the bathroom. One way or another, that was not going to work out for him. Okay, wait. Um, where could Bob's hiding place be? the things here I'm not looking for that okay military backpack we should place the grippo tron I guess while we're here we still need that and that and I don't know where to find these things like, what is that what even is that supposed to be all right more to explore to this research facility clearly um been done that way. So don't want to go back to the thing I was talking about last episode. Yeah, now that you're not it. reading a shit ton of post-it notes. I'm sure there's more, but go for it. Uh, I, uh, I was waiting for an opportunity. Um, oh, wait, wait, hold on. An extremely obvious fake panel. Uh, this is a circuit board, a RAM, and a thing. Hi, Ted, just a heads up. I put your RAM right here. This way it gets less dusty. Bob. Circuit board of RAM. Look at all this RAM. It has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of RAM. You figure that's the most bytes in any bit of RAM ever. And search for a computer upgrade with it. Knowing, knowing not the slightest idea how to do so properly. Uh. Go for it. Do your best. I feel like a lot of people, at least like that I know like from like Cosmic Troop, I feel like a lot of people are... I'm just putting it on the screen. I'll, I'll let you read. Okay. Hi, Ted. The fish oh, okay. shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. Bob. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Cordially, Ted. What even are uh, these guys? I feel like a lot of people are... Bottoms, in theory, just not in practice. Old computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. that oh i forgot to read it oh no oh god all right it's okay i'll f i'll find it in the i'll find it in the, the guide all right well, i guess we gotta play you all the way through this i didn't mean i didn't mean to do it do that okay. ah i'm stupid i'm stupid it's okay i'll have it right i'll find but it in the guide we'll read it for the fourth episode okay i'm sure we won't actually make that whatever it is but like i feel i feel like a lot of people are bottoms and in, in Theory, just not in practice. Oh, sure. Some people like to top from the bottom. Like, the idea of it sounds appealing, but in practice, people 
just wouldn't people wouldn't be down for it. Yeah, no, that's definitely a thing. Um, okay. Oh, a dumbbell. Oh, that's for the folio. Try as you might, you're unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. Store. It's a story item, somehow. I think we are a coin. Oops. The uh, triumphant test report. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient coin stocks, a breed of ruby queen coin that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that the specimen is somehow female, female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Fair. See, I'm telling you, I think we're the coin. Sweaty headband. Oh. This sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly briskier pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. Fair. Hmm. Box is blocked. This off now. Oh, what's this? Uh, what was it? Nondescript rock. A nondescript rock. I run in the middle rock. rock with no defining features whatsoever. To discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence, its name is Mabel. Hmm. Okay. You think the rocks are gonna come in handy later? I, I feel like we're accumulating them for some reason. <laughs> Must be. Do you have more to say on that? Because I think I'm uh, at things to explore here. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I think that was pretty much just I, that. That's pretty much just the gist of it. I think honestly, that's that's Some just how a lot of people are. Is that like actually? In, yeah. Top. Well, or like I actually, in, you know, sorry, you're using in, you're, in, you're, in, you're in, using, in, you're when using bottom. To, when it comes you're using to fiction. bottom wrong there actually. Um, I, uh, you're thinking sub. Bottom would be just someone who likes to be on the bottom. I guess, to be, yeah. To be that's particular. True. I mean, yeah, technically it's, speaking, yeah. That's those are the ter those, it, two are the two are really, the two are often thought to be closely related, but they are. But you can you can be a dom that bottoms and you can be a sub that tops. Um that bear's angry. Teddy bear. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear which has a variety of friendly Russian sayings with powered up its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. Looks grumpy. A children's block. It is a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers, and you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually, you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. Nice. Uh. uh. Yeah, I, I, I think that's that's how, that's the thing that's a lot of people either, and I think that's the thing too is like a lot of people either just been misuse it where. Mm -hmm. uh, they might be the, the a better word for them would probably be would be, probably be sub, but like they still probably they might not be you know exactly a bottom. Yeah. So uh, next time on Spelletons, we'll place the bear, and I'll also have the proper reading of the upgraded computer. We now have to do a fourth episode because I fucked that up. See you guys next time. Bye bye.